that's when God steps in. Oh, my goodness. Genesis 32. This left Jacob all alone in the camp. And a man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. When the man saw that he would not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of its socket. Then the man said, let, let me go for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What's your name? The man asked. He replied, Jacob. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him. From now on, you will be called Israel because you have fought with God and with men and have won. Please tell me your name, Jacob said. Why do you want to know my name, the man replied. Then he blessed Jacob there. Jacob named the place Peniel, and, which means face of God, for he said, I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been spared. The sun was rising as, as Jacob left Peniel, and he was limping because of the injury to his hip. I want you to notice that the man wrestled with Jacob. Jacob did not wrestle with the man. That's what the scripture says. And the man wrestled with Jacob. God initiated the wrestling match. Who is the man? We know from the word that it's Jesus. God wanted something from Jacob. And he wanted it bad enough that he was willing to wrestle Jacob for it. Now, what in the world am I talking about? Submission. The whole point was to get Jacob to a place so Jacob could fulfill his destiny because he was walking outside of it. Fear was keeping him from it. So God came and wrestled with him because the destiny of Jacob was critical to the whole redemptive story. God will wrestle, friends, with his chosen vessels. All he wants is for us to submit 100% to walk in his face and in his obedience. I promise you, for the destiny that's on your life, God will wrestle with you. Verse 32, 25. Let's put it back up there. When the man saw that he would not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it or dislocated his hip. Now, this does not mean that Jacob was stronger than the Lord. That doesn't mean that. It just simply looked like after a night of wrestling, Jacob and the Lord were at a stalemate. We're talking spiritual things. You got to move out of your natural mind. God deals with spiritual issues in your life. Your life has destiny from the spiritual point of view. What your heavenly father has put over you. What your heavenly father has written in your book. What your heavenly father has ordained for your life. This is not about whether you got a, a raise or what a little job you're at. This is about who you are and who God sees you and what he wrote in your book before the foundation of the earth ever even came into being. God knew you by name. Amen. They were at a stalemate. The Lord was not winning over the free will of Jacob. See, we underestimate the power of your free will. God will not override it. He did not override it. So the Lord touched his hip, dislocated it, so to speak. It's true that nothing is impossible with God. That's true unless you refuse to submit to him. Don't ever underestimate the force of your free will. 